Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. Today, I'll kind of just be talking about some news around the NFL. A couple coordinators have been fired, one retired, and the Giants hired a GM. I'll be talking about all of that and what that means in this video. First off today, the Giants hired former Bills assistant GM, Joe Schoen, I think I pronounced that right, should have, anyways, as their general manager. Now, I don't know much about the guy, I'll admit, I don't follow general manager who might become a general manager the same way as I follow coaches, so I wasn't going to predict this or anything. And I don't know how qualified he is. I can say that Brandon Bean, the Bills GM, has been good. He's built a really good team with the Bills. So, I don't know what kind of role he had to play. But if he did help with that, then he seems like a good fit. We will see. But what this means is more interesting. That means that it's very, very likely that one of the two Bills coordinators will become the Giants' next head coach. Because, first of all, they know him. Like, they've been working with him in the same building for a couple of years now. Plus, both them, both Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator, and Leslie Frazier, the defensive coordinator, are very good candidates to become head coaches. So, I agree with the analysts. I assume that either Brian Dable or Leslie Frazier will be the next Giants head coach. It's highly unlikely that they're going to go and say, hey, I'm going to hire the Packers offensive coordinator. Although he is quite qualified. He will get a head coaching job this year. That's my prediction. He's the... Joe Schoen is the first general manager to be hired, which means the Giants get first crack out of all the teams that fired both their coaches and their GM. The Giants will be one of the first to fire to hire a new coach. Now, there are multiple teams that didn't fire their GM and just fired their coach, such as the Jaguars, for example. So though that team could be quicker to find a new coach but the Giants will get one of the first picks which means whichever of the two is available they will take probably if neither is available then they'll have to search but more likely both will probably still be available so we'll see next off the Seattle Seahawks fired their defensive coordinator Ken Norton now this isn't much of a surprise if Pete Carroll's not going to go anywhere Someone has to be fired. And the offensive coordinator is brand new. So even though the offense had a down year, they're not going to fire a guy in his first year. Plus, the defense has been terrible for a while now. So it's time for him to go, which he did. Now, this opens up opportunities. It would not surprise me at all if the Seahawks now went and hot-eared one of the coaches that got fired to be their next defensive coordinator, a defensive-minded coach. That's good, but got fired. Brian Flores is a perfect example. But, of course, there's rumors about him becoming a head coach again, so we'll see. If he could take a head coaching job, he'd obviously take it over that. But someone like Vic Fangio as well would make a lot of sense to be the next Seahawks defensive coordinator. So, it'll be interesting to see if they hire an old head coach. Or, they could also hire a defensive coordinator that was good enough, but that got fired along with the coach. So, that won't come yet. We don't know. Sometimes the coaches keep their other coaches, former staff, or at least a couple members. But, for example, Gus Bradley. He's the Chargers defensive coordinator. Then Anthony Lynn got fired. He went with him. And then Gus Bradley got hired as the Raiders defensive coordinator because 
he w the defense was still good. Even the offense was still good. I don't see why Anthony Lynn really got fired except for blowing close games. Anyways, it was still a good defense. It just, the coach wasn't great. So, that's the kind of team where you could go, okay, yeah, this guy could totally get hired as a defensive coordinator again. So, someone like that could also become the next Seahawks defensive coordinator. I know I said that Brian Flores getting fired was the biggest surprise of the year. And I was wrong. I was not expecting this one. I mean, I didn't expect Brian Flores to get fired. But it wasn't the most surprising thing in the world to me. Because he did start out the season 1-7. and seven. I mean, you can't have that. But... Don Martindale, the legendary defensive coordinator of the Ravens, was fired. I don't get it. I honestly don't get any of it. Okay, I'll admit, the defense had a bit of a down year, specifically the secondary. But let's look into it. Deshaun Elliott, Marcus Peters, and Marlon Humphrey were all injured. That left Chuck Clark as their only playmaker on the secondary. So no, that was not Don Martindale's fault. Because half the team was injured. Now on the defensive line and the linebackers, they did well. They were still a good defense. Like, the secondary fell apart, but the defensive line was okay. And despite, they lost Derek Wolf for most of the season. And yet, with the emergence of Odafe Owe, Patrick Queen did have a down year, but Odafe Owe just played phenomenally. So... He still got fired. The defense was good, and yet he got fired. I mean, as I said, he was even on my list of coaches that might be hired to be a head coach. And now he's fired. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Anyways, a replacement firm could honestly be... Same thing I said for the Seahawks, like a former head coach or defensive coordinator for a different team where the defense didn't play that badly. So that's an option there, but still, I don't get it. I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't understand why he was fired. Last off today... Longtime Steelers defensive coordinator Keith Butler is retired. Now, if he got fired, I'd be not even as surprised as Don Martindale. Although I would still be surprised. But he's not. He's retiring. And it's very likely that Terrell Austin, a longtime defensive coach on that team, will just take his place. He's been great. He should be a defensive coordinator elsewhere. I don't know why he's not. So, he's clearly going to get the promotion into defensive coordinator. I, I can't see any other chance that anyone else would take the job. It's going to be Terrell Austin. You can take my word for that. Now, he goes along with the Steelers' longtime GM, Colbert, who's likely to retire after the draft. So basically what he's going to do, he's going to go through the draft and free agency, find Ben Roethlisberger's replacement, repair the team a bit, set them all up for a couple years to go, and then find his replacement, hope they're great. Kind of like what Ozzie Newsome did to Eric DaCosta. Ozzie Newsome was pretty much the one that drafted Lamar Jackson, even though technically Eric DaCosta was the general manager. Ozzie Newsome did all the work. 
and Kevin Colbert is going to do the same thing, and then he'll retire, and someone new will step in, who, for Steelers fans' sake, hopefully he's even half as good as Kevin Colbert, and the Steelers will still be amazing. Thanks for watching.